Tonight, a Metro Atlanta school dress code is under fire from students who say officials unfairly enforce it mostly with minorities and female students. And that dress code calls for modest clothing. It forbids many expressions of culture or sexual orientation. Atlanta News First, Amanda Rose reports from Lakeside High School, that's in DeKalb County, where she says it's all about how it's being enforced. This DeGab County school are fighting back against a dress code that says no ribbed jeans, no short skirts, no visible undergarments, and no politically or socially controversial words. They say the problem is how it's unfairly enforced. I feel like it directly targets minority students, students of color, women especially, and non-binary students. They also say being stopped by authorities can be humiliating. Elena Casaneda and Carson Shell are now among several Lakeside High School students calling on district leaders to rewrite its dress code policy. It's usually never white male students or like light skinned students getting dress code. It's typically black students and Hispanic students. I, I think it's a good policy. But Richard Rose, president of the Atlanta NAACP, views dress codes as a great equalizer. This takes away all of that competition and all of that potential conflict. The students say their dress code is just a distraction from their learning. It's taking away from our education instead of improving it. The DeKalb County School District denied their policy is unfair, but offered this statement about potential changes. Quote, the student dress code is to be applied to all students regardless of gender or race and is intended to promote safe and appropriate learning environments. The next public invitation to review the student code of conduct will be announced later this spring. At that time, suggestions will be considered. End quote. From Lakeside High School in DeKalb County, Amanda Rose, Atlanta News First.